everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to animate your own bendy objects in Roblox Studio. I will be using Blender today, so if you don't know how to use Blender, here's like a quick rundown. To move your screen around, you're going to hold down the scroll thing on your mouse, and if you want to zoom in and out, you just scroll in and out, just like uh, you would do in a Roblox game. And if you want to move the cursor around, you can uh, select that at the side of your screen, and then you can move around in a different position. You can make really anything you want, but I'm gonna be making a flagpole, so if you don't know how to make objects in Blender, just follow along. First, I'm going to scale my cube right here down to a decent size, just like that. And that's going to be the base of the flagpole. Now I'm going to go into edit mode to edit the vertices to make it the shape I want. Go, just go to the top of the screen and click on edit mode in order to do that. So, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all of the top vertices and I'm going to extrude those upwards and then I'm going to select the shrink slash fatten tool to sort of shrink it down just like that. And now I'm going to select the extrude tool to sort of pull it upwards just like that to become the shape of the flagpole. After that, I extrude it upwards again and then use the shrink slash fatten tool to make the top the same shape as the bottom. And then I use the extrude tool to create the same small top portion as it was on the bottom. Now I'm going to use the loop cut tool to cut the flagpole into a bunch of small pieces, some of which I can extrude out later on into the shape of the flag. Now I'm going to select all of the vertices that I want to stretch out to become the shape of the flag. In order to select multiple vertices, hold down shift and then click the vertices that you want to select. Now I am going to use the extrude tool to stretch all of those vertices out into the shape of the flag. After that was done, I selected all of the vertices that made up the side of the flag and then scaled them inwards so that the flag was not super thick like it is right now. If you are following along, once you have all of them selected, just scale it inward like this. Now we are going to add bones to the mesh. Bones are a feature that Blender has that allows an object to bend smoothly. These can also be exported into Roblox and allow it to bend smoothly inside of Roblox Studio. First, add loop cuts to the object that you want to bend. The more loop cuts you add, the more smoothly the bending animation will go. Once you are done, go back to layout at the top of your screen and make sure you are in object mode. Go to the add tab at the top of your screen and then select armature. This will add a small object onto your screen, and that is called a bone. Place the bone where you want it, on your mesh. Make sure that the armature is selected, and then go to the viewport display tab and turn on in front. This will make it so that the bone is always visible in front of the mesh so that you can see where you are positioning it. Now go to the top of your screen and change the mode from object mode to edit mode. Select the bone and then go to the left side of your screen and select extrude. Now when you pull on that tab, it will make another bone. Continue pulling on it in small portions and it will make bones that go through your mesh. To attach the bones to your mesh, go to the top of the screen and go back into object mode. Click A to select everything. Right click and you'll hover over parent and then click with automatic weights. This attaches the bones to your mesh so that they can make it bend. After that, go into pose mode at the top of your screen to make sure that you positioned all the bones right and that it bends the way you want. This is the part where I realized that I made a mistake and that my bones were positioned outside of the flag object. Now I had to go back and restart the rigging on my mesh. For future reference, if you ever make a mistake like this, just make sure that you are changing around your viewpoints as you are rigging your mesh to make sure all the bones are where you want them. When you're ready, click File at the top left corner of your screen, hover over Export, and then click .fbx to export it as an fbx file. You can select wherever you want it to be exported onto your computer. I also recommend saving your file after exporting it to make sure that in case you need to make any changes, the file is there. 
When that's done, make sure that you open Roblox Studio. These are a couple meshes I created for a new game I'm gonna make. I know I'm not the best, but I did try my best. Now go to the Plugins tab at the top of your screen and select Avatar Importer. Once you have done that, you're going to select the Custom Avatar option. It will bring up a list of files on your screen and make sure that you select the file that you just created. Once you open the file, it will be exported into your game. It may be big, so be sure that you zoom out. In order to scale it down, select it, hold down shift, and then you'll be able to scale all sides at once. Next, go to the animations plugin at the top of your screen and select the object that you just created. Name the animation whatever you want and then click on create. You will see all of the bone objects that you just created inside of Blender and you'll be able to bend them around and move them to make your object bend realistically. You can use this for anything you want such as capes, snakes, and any other bending object. Create your animation just like you would be animating a normal character. And when you are done, enjoy the thing you have created. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you. Goodbye!